Hello everyone. Today I'm talking about bollard design to take the vehicular effect, uh, actually to control the vehicular effect in low and high traffic area. In general, uh, different codes have different load limits, but in general, to design a bollard, we have low traffic and high traffic area for low traffic area we generally going to have a load at a level of half a meter from the ground and the load is about 20 to 30 kilonewton in different codes point load at that at half a meter level so it, it you can share with other bullets it is applicable for each individual bullet so you need to apply this load and let's say 30 kilonewton at half a meter and you're going to design this one and for high traffical traffic area we generally have same concept but the effect point is about one meter from the ground and the load is about 40 kilonewton and in some areas in especially for some critical and industrial areas you may go to 45 or 50 kilonewton point load at one meter above the ground so it is very simple structural issue to solve so you will have point load and bending moment so you should have you will have this bending effect and you need to take bending effect and shear effect in this area and it gives you the section you need to take that load the best section is always circular hollow section because it has r values same in all directions and it is light and you need to pay less for the metal for the steel but the problem always is to anchor to the ground for this one you may have depending on the soil condition you may have very huge foundation if the soil is bad or just some foundations if the soil is normal and good and you need some geotech data for this one to see what's the pressure on the soil and what's the effect of this load on the soil to make sure that the heat load is not rupturing the soil and you will have safe load actually ground and chs section for bollard so for this one generally depending on the soil we will have concrete something like piling system with vertical and horizontal reinforcement and this one is let's say it's not big and in general about 600 700 mil pile and normally it's about one meter one and a half meter or two meter maximum depth of the pile for heavy loading but for if you're going to have 20 kilonewton let's say you may have less load for that one and the big issue is with bigger loads and so you may need bigger foundation it might be just bigger pile or just heavy pile to take any effect so the next step is always to have removable or fixed bollards on the side for fixed parts you may have just socket design so this is your bollard the first part chs and second part chs just going into the reinforced concrete part or just the pile and you will have socket going into the female part and you just you can just have some 
connection to make sure that it's not getting off. So it can be used as removable and fixed part. And you may have sometimes strong foundation and the top part, and you may have some strong base plate and anchoring to that part. It gives you fixed part. And there are very special types of removable connection for, let's say, top part CHS and bottom part. And you may have just some type of connection here, generally base plates, but it can be locked into the ground and just twisted and getting unlocked to give you the option to remove the CH, remove the bollard whenever you need. But the general concept is very simple. You have the load in half a meter or one meter, and you will check the section. You will design the section for bending and shear in this area. That is the critical part. And the rest is to make sure that you have enough geotechnical data to make sure that the soil is not rupturing and it gives you the basis for design of this foundation foundation that's generally pile about 600 700 mil diameter and one to two meter depending on the soil condition depth of the pile or just the footing you may have less or more if you have very good condition let's say rock and you may just ignore all these things and anchor it to the rock if it if the design loads allows you and the last part was to have the connection between the top part and the bottom part. You may have socket type, you may have fully anchored like base plate and column to give you fixed part. And there are just very special types in the market and just base plate type. The connection type can be twisted, can be removed or just be fixed. And it gives you option to use this bollard as removable or fixed. That's all about bollard design.